Hey YouTube, um, quick video on how I set up my tool offsets. Um, if you've got one of these tool setters, one of these, and you'd know what the problem is. Basically, plunger and that plunger, when you depress it, you won't get a perfectly accurate tool offset. So these are the tough stuff I use to get my tool offset. So the problem is basically this when you bring your hammer down onto the tool plunger and you look for the indicator and this is what happens the indicator still does not come on so your tool offset is going to be off each time you set up using the hammer as your reference tool my tool setter is a TTC 100 tool setter from this point to this point is supposedly 100 mm but as you can see it is not it's 0.5 off and if you touch this you can see the light indicator coming on and we are at 99.50 mm and that would be the height I need to set my hymer to ensure that my tool offsets are accurate I'm going to use this to set my reference this is a metric one to three block um, I bought this from um, CME Tools. Um, it's, well, it's not a 1 to 3, I guess. It's a 2550 100 mm um, block. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is my way of doing it. Um, if you think there's another better way of doing this, please feel free to put it up in the comments. The first thing I'm going to do is reference my Heimer of the fixture plate. It's the same as that. So um, let's do that now. the suck out of the way first So I come back over here. So this is an uh, ATTAC CNC 4640. Um, if you are familiar with this, then you'll know what I'm doing. If you're not, um, this is a China industrial controller. Um, does its job. Love it. So the first thing you do, coordinate screen, edit, call up your axis that you're editing. So in this case, Z, end of block. So now, as you can see here, an absolute year on zero, 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 whatever, yeah? So this is gonna be how we measure the height. In jog mode, I'm gonna bring my spindle up, or the tip of my hammer up to um, 100 mm. So, um, Z. Oops, sorry. Okay. So the jog oh. Okay, now don't mind that. It's at 102. I'll show you why next. I'm gonna use the one to three block to set off my to set my reference for the Z height. So I'll go into um, MPG mode and I'll slowly bring the spindle down to 99.50. I'll bring this down to There you go. Same process on the corner screen. I did Z axis and the block, and she's set. Now, why why did I do that? 
because you have to make you have to compensate for the a ball in the hymer and the plunge so um, once you bring it down and you plunge it down the height's going to be different so I, I find it easier if I just use one of these and bring the tip down to 99.50 so basically your next setup is going to be setting your two offsets so I've got the TTC mounted in the bottom of uh, right on the top of my fixture under the spindle this is a 40mm um, carbide, carbide um, um, end mill mounted on a uh, what do you call it? End mill, hold, end mill holder. So just going to do the operation now. Um, on the controller, uh, just going to jog first. Bring it down. Need to amp bag. MPG. Okay, lights on, and that's a reference against the Heimer. So back to the Ag Tech. And what you're gonna do now is uh, partner screen F2 holds up all the tools. Uh, this particular tool is tool number three for me, so I'm just gonna go into edit, bring this down to tool number three. Look at the reference number over there in your absolute 46.2 Not much difference, but just I mean, fraction, but it just shows you how how we can say um, if, if how you can set it. And so basically, what you need to do is go back into your um, what do you call this uh, keypad since you've got it in edit mode you punch in the values minus 46.281 and the block and there you go a tool is set cheers So this piece is supposed to be 4.1 um, mm, so I'm at 4.109, um, close enough for me, cheers.